what's up fam it's the one and only humble stun like no other thank you guys for tuning in right now if you're new make sure you go hit that subscribe button it is free and like if you're willing to i do not want any people on this channel that don't really enjoy the video if it's not that good let me know if it's great if you have any opinions on the video itself let me know it's the free open space and we talk about a plethora amount of things and thank you for tuning in right now we about to get into something a lot more different than something i ever reacted to in my life on this channel right and it's de it's dealing with fashion it's dealing with innovation it's dealing with web3 and if you guys do not know any of these things you just have to go and educate yourself on upon those words as i said <laughs> simply is that um and i've been seeing on social media this man called idris sandu and it looks like he has a lot of good inventions um innovations of certain um fashion um statements or just fashion uh, uh, uh clothing so we're gonna jump into this right now and let me know how you guys feel about this, this my first time reacting to it. it's episode one and it's called spatial labs my name is Ida sandu and i am the founder and ceo of spatial labs one of the things that we've been working on in the last couple of months that we wanted to share with our community is this new series that we're developing called creative links where we invite amazing individuals to come in talk about tech talk about web3 and the metaverse as well as unboxing some of the experiences that we're launching with hardware today we are going to be joined by a good friend of mine and someone that i've known for a while that i'm really excited for you all to get to know hi everyone i'm dominic Crochet and i'm yeah, so like I said, I do not know anything that's going on right now. The box looks like a Kanye box. Um, and that has, um, just saying Kanye itself is just a statement itself because of creation, the the kind of trend he, he had made. Um, so I'm very excited to see what he got going on. And it looks like it's a black owned company as well. So this is wonderful. I like how they put the word actual, uh, if I go back real quick, spatial is you know how the the oculus is like the goggles you put on your face the o expands at the end right right here i think that's actually very very tough so we're about to let's see what's let's see what's going on <laughs> see what's going on get to know Hi everyone, I'm Dominique Crochet and I'm super excited to unbox my very first piece of hardware. I've been waiting to receive this package ever since the Spatial Labs event, so let's go. <laughs> let's see what's inside. Okay, nice. The wearable box. internet. We have the start guy. Great, because I need that. It says you're all set. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing Hardware against the utility in both the physical and digital world. Goes into how you pair your hardware. Pair your and hardware. Where my files. Ooh, unlocking my aura customizations. That's the part I'm most excited for. Okay. Let's see what's in here. Okay, we have a link card. And then. Link. L and Q. That's that's tough. Okay, this is a really exciting card. Here we go. Coral color. Look how cute. It comes with this reusable tote bag. It's super high quality, super thick. Damn. It looks thick. I'm not gonna lie. Everybody loves these tote bags. I have no problem with you doing you. Um I don't I don't I don't get it, but I respect it. For me, fashion is fashion, fashion evolves, and being uncomfortable is something I guess creative people have to go through that process of figuring out what's a new trend and how to adapt to it so <laughs> the question is what's so different about this fashion what's next? the box is dope though you don't get a box of clothing unless it's like wrapped up in a gift gift uh, basket i mean gorgeous. for christmas uh, super heavy even denser than the toe but soft as well y'all yeah, know exactly what i'm talking about black people always christmas time well not black people only but a lot of people go to macy's Go get some clothing, it comes in that box, and then you wrap it up. It's in the Macy's box, you know what I'm saying? It's the classic Macy's box. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know what you, maybe you get your clothes on a rack, you get your clothes on a hanger, I don't know. 
And I made sure I have my hardware in there. Can you even see it from there? Because it's so tiny and discreet, which is what I love about it. And I can't wait to try it on. <laughs> okay, now I link my chip to my account. Scan my hardware. Okay, so it looks like it's missing my hardware. One sec. Oh, I'm so excited. And now I've successfully minted my hardware. So... The clothing is called hardware. You have an app on your phone that connects your phone to your clothing. I feel like I feel like Nipsey was onto something like this before. I don't know if I was I don't know if I'm saying it correctly, right? But I feel like his store that he had, the marathon, um, I feel like he has some kind of digital aspect or asset to the clothing itself. Um, I think it was behind the scenes or mu new music, something, something like that. But it looks like you could connect your phone to clothing. Let's see the benefits behind this, because this is dope. This is actually very different, and see the, the benefits behind it. Now that I'm into my hardware, I can customize it later. So we're gonna, so we gonna just skip over the, hold on, hold on. We're gonna skip over this right here. The clothing and the app is spinning. Like, hold on. You link it up, LNQ, so tough. And now I've successfully minted my hardware. You minted your hardware. Minted as in pretty much purchased your hardware and linked it up with your phone. I can't customize and spinning it coral Gen 1 sweater. So it looks like it's going to be different versions. Genesis 1 as in the first edition uh, sweater. And that's the color coral. I guess it's time to find out what, what it's all about. So, so Dom, the, the big, big question. question. Okay. What, what is the metaverse? metaverse? What do you know about the metaverse? <laughs> okay. So the metaverse, it confuses me. Um, it entices me. It kind of freaks me out a little bit. Yeah, that's a very, very great observation because you're right, right? It's daunting. And it's not daunting because the conversation or the concept of the metaverse mm -hmm. is intricate, except, except there's a lot of intricacies going on. It feels like the metaverse is everything, but nothing. <laughs> I can't quite put my finger on it, and I was really hoping that you could explain it to me today. What happened at the beginning of like 2018 mm -hmm. was that a lot of companies that were working on different elements of technology, like AR, mm -hmm. augmented reality, VR, virtual reality, blockchain, mm -hmm. spatial reality, spatial audio, it became this unique identity that tied all of what they were working on together. So the metaverse is different depending on who you're talking to. Okay, see, that makes sense. That's why it's so confusing to me. Yeah. Like, what exactly is it? And what you're saying, that this, this dystopian world, that's what I imagine. Exactly. I imagine us putting on a little head thing and then living, like being Sims. Yes. And I don't want to be a Sims. Yes. And I'm right there with you, despite being a technologist that wants to push innovation, mm -hmm. but at Spatial Labs and what we're developing with Link, we see the metaverse as a way for you to participate in reality by giving you a different lens. Mm. Today, we're actually going to be talking about clothing, which you really love, mm -hmm. and how we're able to now change sort of the lens of clothing mm -hmm. through our chip technology, mm -hmm. allowing you to discover products in ways that have never existed before. The variable that we introduce into this space now is allowing you to make anything the internet. And that's why we call this the wearable internet. It can deep link into what you want. It can, you know, be as private or as open as you want. So it's pretty much open source and you can customize it to your full abilities. Web3 introduces this new concept of user owned content. So you get to post or create content and you own it and other people can buy that from you mm -hmm. and then you can introduce certain mechanics like royalty mechanics to be paid mm -hmm. so you mentioned that you really like to you know uh, paint on clothes mm -hmm. how could you see the technology assist you in showcasing your creativity um well at first my favorite medium is painting clothes so <laughs> i love the whole idea of the wearable internet because i'd be almost like this walking nft which Makes NFTs a little bit more digestible to me. You know? As a brand that works with us, mm -hmm. your brand or you as an individual can actually take your link item that you purchased, mm -hmm. customize it, make it into a painting, and then create something called a royalty mm -hmm. to that physical item. You can say, every single time that someone sells this, I get a 5% cut. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we're really allowing people to not only have a peer to peer way of creating value for themselves. Mm -hmm. and you know how crazy the resale game of these will be? And this will top off 
these sneaker conventions because sneaker convention is not only sneaker convention it's a lot of clothing nowadays um i know i personally haven't been to a sneaker connection uh, convention I, that's probably one of my goals but you know this right here is innovation itself it looks like you can monetize and create off of your specific product that you purchase customize it then sell it for royalties and gain basically your clothing is an asset and now it's a wearable tag with the internet this is beautiful right here and this is a great like this is a great idea like great idea superb <laughs> for their value without needing a third party or external source, you also really introduce this completely new way to empower creatives, right? Because it doesn't have to be you learning and understanding the legalities and understanding technology. We've simplified it and on our platform, you can create both a physical NFT as well as a digital NFT in less than a minute. But I love that because I consider myself a Renaissance woman and I think the, the Renaissance woman, the Renaissance man, it's coming back into society, you know? So I think it's important for us to have Renaissance clothing and I think you're pioneering that. I was very apprehensive about you know, um, intangible art. It makes me nervous. But to kind of you know marry the two, I think it's going to be revolutionary for creatives, and I'm excited. Before we go, you're wearing hardware, and you've already connected some of your social profiles to the hardware. What? This, did he just say he just connect? They just use the app. The little dot on the clothing. Connect the app to the clothing. Then you put your profile on your clothing. Social, cl your social profile on your clothing. Bro, what? Um, would I be able to link? Of course. Oh, nice. Cool, I just followed you. Perfect. Thank, Thank you so, so much for having me. I learned a lot and I'm excited for what's to come. We look forward to sharing way more information with you guys over the next couple of months. So stay tuned. Peace. This is a crazy example. This man just followed somebody, not by clicking a button, by tapping his phone on somebody's on the clothing's wrist of it of the sweater and follow somebody. This is exactly why I want to react to this video. I know it's a lot different. I know a lot of people don't even know what Web3 is. Um, I know a lot of people don't know what the metaverse is. I know a lot of people don't know about future things that's coming, becoming an asset, future things that could be, you can learn by yourself day by day. But this right here, this man had explained a product and a company that he has going on. And I want to be an advocate for this. This is actually something dope. And I feel like you get a great return and experience with this product itself. It's just something I will have to experience myself and get it myself. So hopefully the next video he comes out with, he lets us know when this will come out. Because this is something that I will actually want. This is something different, something creative, something like something you probably had to, she sat and streamed about and just made it happen in real life. So if you like this video, if you want more of these videos, this is only episode one on this channel that he has. Um, we gonna do it. And this is Idris Sandu, uh, Spatial Labs founder. So he created this um, product. He created the hardware, the fashion statement that it already is. And he proved the, the use for it, the use case for it. And this has high return for it. And this is dope. I'm I'm all with it. And um, yeah, I'm gonna leave it just like that. Catch y'all next video. Peace out.